Hey guys, Tyler Berger here with Bass Fishing HQ with another Tourney Talk video. If you guys don't know what the Tourney Talk videos are, it's basically just me going over everything that I've learned when it comes to tournament bass fishermen. So this video is really gonna be devoted to the tournament bass fishermen and or the bass fisherman who just wants to get better at catching fish, catching more fish, catching bigger fish. So stay tuned, it's gonna be a good one. So I just got done fishing Lake Cherokee in a Bassmaster Open event. I do wanna share with you just a little bit about what I learned there. It was a very, very difficult event. If you guys have seen videos like Scott Martin's video, um, you know, a lot of guys were only catching one, two, three fish a day. Very difficult out there. I was able to catch two fish a day. Um, and, the, and the biggest thing that I learned from this tournament is something that I have known for a long, long time. And I hate when you have to relearn these things that you already know. It really kind of just sucks because you're like, man, I, I know that, like I know that. But anyways, that's why I'm here today and that's why I'm sharing this with you so that you can apply this to your tournament fishing, whether you're, whether you're fishing a little local Tuesday night tournament or whether you're fishing a multiple day tournament, this will help you. And today's tourney talk tip is really all about the weather. It's all about paying attention to the weather conditions. And really what I'm saying is that, you know, during the tournament that I just fished, it was sunny and it was, it was pretty hot. It was pretty warm for that time of the year. Almost every single day of practice, it was literally like 75, 80 degrees sunshine. That night it was like 55. And I knew that coming up, there was a weather system that was coming in and it was a hurricane that was actually Hurricane Zeta or something like that. So I knew that it was going to be kind of rainy and kind of cloudy during the first day of the tournament. Now, during that tournament, I actually got, during that tournament practice, I actually got on some fish, skipping around a mag draft swim bait around some docks. And I felt like it was something different. I saw some guys fishing some docks, but then none of, none of them were fishing a big swim bait. And I really felt like it was something that was different. And the awesome thing was literally about every five, six, seven docks that I fished, I was getting bit. And usually it was a good fish, a two and a half, three and a half pounder. So I really wanted that to work, okay? And this is where I went wrong. This is where the lesson is to be learned as I was really trying to force that bite during the tournament. And during practice, you know, it was sunny. So that dock bite was really good, you know, and I could roll up to those docks. I could skip this guy around and I was getting bit. And during one of the days of practice, it was actually a, a cloudier morning. And I'm like, you know what? This is gonna be similar conditions to the first day of the tournament. So I actually ran up to a, just a row of docks I hadn't fished and I cut the hooks off and I actually started skipping the, the swim bait around and within like five docks, I got a two and a half pounder to absolutely annihilate the thing. And then it swam off. I shook it off because I, again, I didn't have hooks on the bait. The thing is, is that that one fish kind of, not that it was a fluke, the fish were on that pattern, but it really made me think that maybe they'll bite this swim bait during the tournament, even if it's rainy, even if it's cloudy. And what I really should have done, and again, this is the lesson, is I really should have just looked for something different. I should have tried to find more topwater type fish, especially with those conditions. I should have, should have tried to find some areas that I knew that the wind wasn't going to pound into because some of the areas that I had that maybe I thought I could get a topwater fish were just getting demolished by the wind and the waves. And I just realized that, you know, the really the only thing I had confidence in besides like a mag draft swim bait was like a whopper plopper or a, uh, uh, like a spook style bait. And with a lot of wind and waves and turned up water, it just wasn't really working that well. So guys, this is, this is the lesson here is always pay attention to what the weather is going to be doing during the tournament. It doesn't matter how you found them in practice, 
you have to pay attention to the weather and what it's going to do, okay? This tournament, I knew that it was gonna be cloudy and windy and rainy during the first day, and I tried to force that swim bait. And, you know, like I said in the, in the tournament video, and if you haven't checked that out, you can click the link uh, above somewhere around here. The last couple hours of the first day, I pulled out the swim bait because it was sunny and I got like four bites on the thing, but they just weren't committing to it. I finally caught one. It was a solid three pound largemouth. But again, the, the biggest lesson and what I'm, what I'm saying here today, the biggest lesson, the turning talk tip, is pay attention to the weather conditions, okay? And and the biggest things you wanna know is how is the weather condition gonna change the fish, okay? For instance, maybe you're fishing like a milfoil flat and it's sunny during the tournament. Um, you know, maybe you're just sitting there and you're flipping and you're catching fish flipping, and but you know that it's gonna be rainy during the tournament, okay? That night before, you might wanna tie on a chatter bait, a spinner bait, a top water. Things that aren't flipping baits, because those fish more than likely aren't going to be sucked into that grass. They're going to be out roaming. So having something that's fast, like a chatterbait, you're going to be able to cover a lot of water. You're going to be able to get those roaming fish. Okay, the same thing works vice versa. Okay, maybe you're fishing a, maybe it's you know cloudy and, and kind of nasty during practice, and you get on a chatterbait bite in some grass. Maybe for the tournament, it's going to be sunshine and still. You should probably think, man, these fish might want something slower okay and that's the big lesson of the day is make sure that you're paying attention to what the weather conditions are going to be during the tournament that way you can rig up rods and have things ready to go the night before so that when you're out there and you're fishing you can just pick up the rod because it's already on the front deck you can pick up the rod you can make a few casts and that can really change your day that can really change your tournament that can really make you a better fisherman is always be ready for the conditions always pay attention to the weather okay always and i know the weather guys get it wrong most of the time it seems like but be prepared for that and think about it. If you can think about it before the actual tournament, I think it really allows you to be a little bit more open-minded and just more prepared for the situation. You know, if you know, hey, it's gonna get cloudy this afternoon and you might tie up a, you know, like I said, a top water bait, maybe something faster, maybe something that's gonna work better in that cloudy. That way, when it does get that, you're not scrambling around in your box. You just pick up that rod that you already have tied up and you start chucking and winding and you might figure something out. So guys, I hope you enjoy this type of video. Again, if you do, just let me know below in the comments, say, you know, that you really do because this is the second video that I did. I'm gonna keep doing them, but I wanna make sure that you guys enjoy this type of video. Again, don't forget to go check out columbusbarrelco.com make awesome products out of old bourbon barrels. Check them out, columbusbarrelco.com, and you guys are gonna enjoy it. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video.